Real quick, I wanted to share some settings with you that I use on my Canon. I use the Canon EOS 70D camera and the lens I use is a 24-105 lens and then I always shoot in manual mode. You'll see the M there. If you're not comfortable with manual, you can just as easily shoot in automatic mode. Now let me show you the settings uh, that I have in manual or the settings that I pay attention to when I'm in manual mode. So first of all it says press start button. When you're shooting video you notice right here it says at sh the shutter speed is at 80. I like to keep that at 50. The rule of thumb for that is if you shoot at 24 frames per second, which I do shoot at, you want to double that, which would be 48, and then you round up to 50. Um, right here is my aperture, 11, and the higher that number is, the more that it's going to be in focus. The lower that number is, you don't have quite the focal length that, that you would have with 11. Sometimes I do it all the way to 4.5. I try to stay away from 4. Sometimes I do 4.5, try to keep it between 5.6 and 11. It all depends on the light. You can see the light change as I push the numbers, so you want to keep that in mind. Now, if you do have to go lighter, the aperture is the way to do it over the ISO. Here's ISO. ISO is the last thing. Let me go back to that. I'll set it at 5.6. Let's go to the ISO. ISO down here. The ISO is the last thing that you want to bump up to get more light. I never go past 1600 because when you get past 1600 the video gets really grainy. The higher you are, the grainier the video is because it's using um, it's lighting, it's lightening the picture digitally so it makes it pretty grainy so I try to keep this one as low as possible so when I'm trying to get it lighter I'll bring my aperture open a little more rather than my ISO but I try to keep aperture at 4.5 and the ISO if I have that about 400 that's good so this is kinda of what I do when I set it up um, this is the like I said 70D it's nice because I have the controls right on the screen there I also have a flip screen so that when I'm doing video, if I have it above me, I can flip it over and see what I'm doing. A lot of times I'm the one shooting, so that doesn't matter. And if you have someone shooting for you, then they can do that as well. So that's just um, kind of the settings I use on my Canon when I'm doing a shoot.